a chess game has three parts opening middle game and the end game and now this was closely contested in all three yes and i'll show you this game right away this is a game i played 12 minutes back it's a blitz game and i thought uh, i should show you this one because it was interesting like anything starts off with d4 uh, open response with knight f6 i went with bishop f4 trying to play a london system kind of setup opponent is probably going for the king's indian playing g6 now i went with c3 bishop g7 i play e3 open plays c5 trying to break open the center i continued with my development playing knight to f3 opponent does take the pawn here and i take back with the e pawn uh, my idea is to castle on the queen side or the king side but uh, whatever i do here my uh, center file will be opened up which i can exploit with my rook open castles on the king side i went with knight d2 uh, initial idea of putting the queen up onto c2 and then castling on the king uh, queen side but then open play d5 i respond with queen c2 continuing with my idea knight to c6 there by the opponent and here i thought uh, is it a good idea to castle on the queen side because c file is opened up can be uh, dangerous as well bishop is eyeing on the queen side uh, so whenever a pawn breaks from the center uh, this bishop will become active too so i thought let me change my plan and castle on the king side so i went with bishop to b5 now preparing to castle open plays bishop f5 attacking my queen so i had to get my bishop backwards on d3 open does take here i take back with the queen and now open plays a rook to e8 trying to go for center pawn break i understood that fact and play and castle on the king side putting my king to the safety open goes back with the knight to d7 now maybe preparing for f6 and then e5 uh, which can be a good attack in the center i centralize my rook on to e1 uh, open directly plays e5 so maybe knight maneuvering backwards wasn't required uh, if open was going to play e5 but uh, some trades happen here knight takes knight takes knight takes back i take back with the bishop open takes back with the bishop now of course i cannot take uh, because i lose the rook for a bishop that's exchanged down so i thought i'll maneuver my knight to a better square uh making it more active hitting the bishop as well as the h2 now the bishop is attacked twice and it's uh, defended once so open had to play a queen d6 trying to defend both the pieces and it becomes sort of a battery hitting the h2 but nothing to be bothered because knight stands there defending it here i just try to develop the rooks now rook to e2 preparing to get the other rook on to e1 opponent just brings the bishop backwards hoping that i'll take and then opponent can take back and take control of the open file uh, it's important to not let that happen so i took the control of the open file playing rook to e1 now if opponent takes i can simply take back this time i take back with the queen uh, and just like that i want to double up as well in the process also my queen on d3 wasn't that active now opponent goes back with the queen on d7 preparing to uh, to maybe just defend if i want to exchange stuff because there was no last rank weakness bishop was always there so i would not give away my queen but then i thought okay let's exchange queens of the board that would be helpful now open can simply defend the queen by putting it on b5 attacking my pawn as well and then i have to figure out what happens from there on but now open decides to put the rook on d8 i trade up the queens open takes back now i can give a check but it would be a waste of time i thought because open can simply save with the bishop and i'm not doing much from there on maybe then i can get the knight into attacks from somewhere but it looked very unlikely because the, the rook was there opponent can simply push pawns and then break open things from the king side that, that queen side that can be bad for me so i went with uh, rook to d1 first uh, making sure that this pawn push never happens opponent plays b5 i just slide my king to f1 opponent plays king to f8 and we both move our move our kings to the center open plays a6 i just give a check from the rook now open side steps and here i go with knight to g5 attacking a pawn open plays pawn forward i had to come back no other option open then offers rook, me rook exchange as well which i took open takes back uh, and now knight comes to d4 my idea was if my opponent takes i can get my king more active and from there on maybe i can slide over and take these pawns and push for a queen 
uh, that was likely to happen, but Oppen doesn't take here, plays king to d6 first. Very instructive moment. Oppen uh, thought this and uh, plays the king. Had the opponent taken with the bishop, that would have been nasty for the opponent. That gives me advantage, I believe. Yes, 0. 6, 0. 0.9. Suddenly, I gain some space. I can then push or I can attack the pawn as well. Open has to come back in time. And then again, uh, it would be a matter of time for, uh, who has the last move eventually. I can play slow here with my pawns. I can push from the other side of the board as well. But it would be tricky because uh, I can get the extra move there and win it from there. So opponent went with, uh, sorry, I was here. Opponent goes with king to a d6. I went back with the knight to f3. Opponent plays pawn forward f5. Now here I had my chance of uh, converting this uh, big time by placing knight to h4. What knight h4 does is attacks uh, the pawn on g6, which cannot be defended. If open plays pawn forward, then here comes a fork and open loses the bishop and the game. If opponent uh, leaves the pawn and plays something else like say bishop here, still I take a pawn and I'm happy because it's two against three then eventually and knight would be active too. So it's a good position to be in, gaining that extra pawn that you always need to win. But instead in the game, I didn't see that coming. I played h3, uh, preparing for maybe g4 was my plan. Uh, and then I went for g4, open plays pawn forward f4 here. And I went with h4, trying to break open. Now if open takes, I can take back with the knight. Open doesn't take, but plays bishop to f6. Again, I can push this pawn. And it will always be a threat. Uh, I can later on sacrifice my knight as well uh, for the pawn if the bishop is not there, of course. So, uh, so that of, after open takes, I get to proceed with the pawn. So that can be one another, another breakthrough. Uh, but I thought, let me take the pawn. The open takes back with the pawn. And now I get back with the knight to d2. The open gets tr try to get into my situation by placing king on c5. Here I first block the pawn, uh, f3. Uh, it's important to keep my pawns on light squares because the opponent has a dark square bishop. Uh, and if somehow the bishop can uh, come back into the picture, it can attack the pawns, which I don't want to happen. So f3 first, open plays a5. I went with a3, open plays b4, trying to break open the pawn chain. That happens, open takes back with the king. And now here comes uh, b3, trying to defend the pawn because bishop was eyeing it. Now it's defended with the, uh, the knight, so not an issue. Here my opponent plays a bishop to c3, attacking the knight. And I go with uh, knight to b1. The idea is now if opponent takes, I win the bishop. And I win the game from there. So opponent cannot take. So opponent had to move the bishop. Bishop goes to e1. And now I can come back with the king. But then I thought, if I come back with the king, uh, opponent, uh, where does my knight go next? If I go here next, uh, and opponent does take, I can take back, but then I lose the pawn and opponent will have time to go back and defend the pawn on d5 as well. So that can be losing, uh, definitely. So I thought, okay, let me just put, uh, exchange the knight here for the bishop, opponent does take, I take back. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I calculate this, if my opponent takes here, I go up, now opponent cannot defend the pawn, was my calculation, but computer says otherwise, that black can win here, going downwards. Okay, I go up. Okay, then open gets faster to, to my pawn, and then uh, open will be promoting earlier. I think if I go here, open takes. I take open slides over. So do I, and then open pushes. Yes, I'm late to promote to queen. So that's a losing end game. Uh, I didn't calculate it that way. I thought if my opponent takes this pawn, I'll be faster to take this pawn. And then I can take this one as well on g5 and win it. Uh, but opponent also did, uh, thought the same. And likewise, uh, so he went back with uh, king to c5, allowing uh, king d3 and now king to b4 by opponent. I went up, opponent does take, I take back. Now the difference here is uh, against the previous combination that I was showing. Uh, in that case, my opponent's king was closer to my pawn. Here, I am closer to the opponent's pawn. Uh, so basically, we'll uh, reach end time here. I take, opponent takes. And now it's simple. I put my king onto h5. Opponent plays king to g3. And we both push our pawns. 
we'll have queens at the same time and then uh, oper- it's a draw game from there as well but what happens here is i place my king on f5 that was bad because once the pawn promotes to queen I, it comes with a check and then it would be tough for me to win this game or even draw it from there uh so i saw that late after playing the move uh, i was running low on time i think i'm not sure no, actually i was good on time i don't know why i played the wrong move then open slides over i then start pushing my pawns uh, from uh, open and also does that open gets the queen i side step on to g6 open gives a check again sliding over open gives another check and then we end up repeating uh, and open could have won this simply there was no problems there uh, with a queen and i wasn't promoting this anytime soon open could have won this easily by covering up uh, the square on the diagonal by placing queen on to d7 sorry d5 uh, controlling the diagonal and then there was no such move coming open can simply slide over the king eventually and then uh, checkmate uh, it's a mate in 12 from there for black side so an easy one in the end could have been there for the opponent but open thought uh, it's a draw and resign and we repeat and open it's, it's a draw game eventually so uh, could have lost it could have won it eventually it's a draw so i would take take that as a good game as well it was very closely contested as i said in the beginning throughout from opening to middle game to the end game i hope you enjoyed it do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care bye bye